Claylea, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be pretty schnazzy. It's gonna be pretty fun. I did one of these types of videos a little while ago. Sorry if I'm squinting, I'm kind of right in front of the sun and it's morning time. Anyways, I did one of these videos a little while ago. You guys actually really loved it. I love doing it because it got me some new clothes. And so I decided to do this again because it's summertime. It's time for new clothes. So if you guys can't tell from the title, I'm gonna be doing summer DIY clothing outfit ideas. They're not real outfits. Anyways, before we get on to this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up if you like these types of videos and comment down below your favorite um, item that I did or some more videos you guys would like to see. I'm doing more summer videos. You guys have been requesting some. So be sure to do that and we'll get on to the video. Yeah, you can turn me up. you guys so we're gonna start off with this t-shirt which I actually found from Walmart and it was a guy's t-shirt and we are going to cut off the sleeves I've cut them where the seam is so it's a little bit easier obviously it's still not too easy because these scissors aren't the best but it works and then we're gonna do that to the other side we were made to fall in love uh, give me what I ask let me hold your hand baby you just have to know This like tank top basically and then I'm going to take this sharpie and mark where I want it cut I measured this on my stomach to see where exactly I wanted the line to be and then I go straight down the from the sides from the collar I guess and I mark those so that we can cut a tie all right and now that I've cut down almost the middle, I'm going to cut off these sides basically in like a square. Just like so. And I'm gonna do that to the other side. Oh perfect, oh baby. I don't know why I just said that, but okay. And then I'm gonna cut off this entire thing because apparently I didn't cut it all the way off. And I'm just gonna leave this one top flap, I guess is what you could call it. I'm gonna turn to the side. I don't know why I'm saying this. And then basically I'm gonna take this piece and cut it right down the middle. Maybe add a little bit of curves to make the, to make the tie a little bit better. And look at how cute that is. I've cut the tie so it's not as long. Two, we are going to have some jeans, some fabric, and some scissors. And I've got this parchment paper and I am basically just tracing out the pocket all the way so that then I can take my super duper cute fabric and trace that out with this outline of my butt pocket, basically. <laughs> my fabric and I'm going to outline it with the parchment paper. I basically already said this, but you know what? It's fine. We love to hear it again, don't we? Well, I hope so because I'm doing it again anyways. Yeah, it did happen then to me and to a wreck. It got me thinking about a found her solution. She's so loved. She really is. Will I get any chance to see him? That's when I saw him standing next to me in class. I ain't ready and my heart is beating fast. Okay, so now that I've cut these two out, I'm gonna take this fabric glue and outline the outsides with glue. And then I'm gonna do the insides with glue. And I'm just going to gently, nicely, and perfectly glue them on, basically. Now, if you're gonna do something like this, please take my word from it, or whatever, and wait till it's completely dry, or else it will look crinkled when you try to put it on. 
So don't do that and wait till it's dry. And here is the second DIY. I'm a girl in love. got some shorts and some paint brushes and a plate. These are all very useful things. Yeah. So I'm gonna take this cute yellow paint and I'm gonna struggle to get it out of this bowl thing. And now basically I'm going to paint on sunflowers. This first one was definitely not the best one I could have done. But hey, practice makes perfect. There is a moment meant for us And now you may Open your eyes, let's get it done. Take my hand, just follow me. Shadow and me are one. Okay, I'm gonna do, I've done a much better job on this other one. It's a little more rounded. Still not the best sunflower, but you know what? It looks pretty cute. And I am just slowly painting it on. I painted it on multiple times so that it was a little bit thicker because the first one was not as thick. Then I've got this little one next to it to add a little bit of an accent, basically. And we've got these super cute shorts. One DIY, and we've got a shirt, some more fabric glue, a patch. Ooh, this one's gonna be so cute. I love this one. So, first, I am going to take this shirt. I got this from Walmart, so these are like really cheap DIYs. I got all these shirts from Walmart and basically all the supplies. And I am going to line up this patch to where I want it to be. I am put the shirt onto my chest to see, to measure it out, because I wanted to make sure it was in the right place. Then I'm gonna put the fabric, 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 oh my goodness, glue on to this super cute flamingo, and I'm going to put it on right where I want it to go. I'm gonna let this one dry for a lot longer, because I don't want this one to fail. And then we cut this shirt, and it was, it's probably one of my favorite shirts ever. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys liked it as much as I loved to film it. If you guys want to see more of these types of videos, make sure to give it a thumbs up and, of course, comment that down below. And uh, make sure to love each other, I guess. Um, I hope you guys liked this video. Please give it a, oh my gosh, I'm just saying the same things. Anyways, I'll see you guys in my next few videos. Love you. So you go.